Hi Scorpio, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angela333. Hope everybody is doing well. We're going to do your messages from Spirit and the Angels. Please know that this reading is a general reading, can be about any area of your life. So uh, take the, the messages how they resonate with you. Everything else you need to know is in the description box. Um, a couple new items below. Uh, one, there is a link uh, to my Tarot Oracle card shop if you'd like to shop Tarot or Oracle cards. There's also a link below if you'd like a personal reading. I have some great spiritual advisors on my website who are available to do personal readings. You can uh, read their bios, connect. Also, I am going to open up a few personal readings uh, or do some personal readings this week um, and going forward. So if you'd like to email me for a personal reading, details are below how to contact me. All right. So with that, Scorpio, just pulling uh, the rest of your cards. Also want to say uh, the last uh, deck here, which is the Angel Answer deck, you can ask uh, a question if you like here. And there is yes and no in the deck. If yes or no does not come out, it just means, right, just take the guidance uh, that you receive. So with that, let's get started here with your reading. All right, beautiful energy here. So you have the 10 of Ariel. You have, there is so much to be very grateful for, financial success and the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. Okay, so some of you that can be around career, money, right? Could be your goal here, right? To get to that place of retirement. Uh, some of this can be around a loving, committed, stable relationship as well. You have here the seven of Michael. It says there is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. Okay, so that can say there's a new strategy here, right? So if you're not feeling like you're in a place of right stability, security, whether it's love or relationships, um, I even hear like a family matter, um, or your finances, they're telling you here that there could be some sort of new strategy, right? And also that energy of two, two heads are better than one, right? More than one person, right? Kind of, um, you know, putting some ideas together. I also see here you have uh, the Queen of Gabrielle, which is you can do anything right now. Go after what you want, the ability to attract helpful people. All right, so your energy right now, Scorpio, is very, very attractive, okay? So you will find, um, I feel that there will be people who will naturally, I feel, be attracted to you. So if you're needing help with a situation uh, to get to this 10 of Pentacles energy here, right? You're going to attract the right people, I feel, here in your life to help you out. Now, some of you, this can be, you could be single, right? And maybe you're wanting love uh, relationships in your life here. So there's telling you, it's telling you, you need to do something different. Okay. So you need to put yourself out there or find a different way of meeting people. Okay. Let's see what your tarot cards have to say. All right. So you got the devil energy here. It's Capricorn energy. We have the Ten of Cups, and we have here the Star card. Interesting. All right. Now, with the Devil energy here, okay, and I'm going to say you have that Seven of Michael there. There could be somebody around you who is not healthy for you, I'm going to say. This could also be because the Seven of Michael, right, in this deck, right, it's saying here you need a new strategy. You need to do something different, okay? So if you're attracting toxic people into your life, then yes, you need to do something differently here. This also can be, right, if there's negative thinking, if, you, if you've got fearful or negative thinking, right? I'm going to say even addictions. There needs to be a new strategy here to change things, right, to attract what you want in your life, right? So you can get to this Ten of Cups and this Ten of Pentacles, which are both beautiful beautiful energies there. But I'm also feeling here too, there could be a false person around you, somebody who may be jealous, uh, somebody I feel here too, who 
um, could be obsessive as well. Somebody who may even be that angry person type, right? That could be somebody pulling you down, right? So it's going to be different for all of you. So I would say be cautious, right? Uh, there could be something or someone around you that is not good. And that's why they're telling you you need to change something here. You have the Ten of Cups. Okay, so it's showing me that there is potential here, that you have the potential to attract something very uh, beautiful in your life, loving, fulfilling, right, stability and security here. And you also have here the star card, Aquarius energy. So it's telling me that things um, are coming into alignment for you, but there may be also some healing that's needed. Um, you know, I'm going to say here too, right? There's seven stars here on this card. And a lot of people don't know this, but this can uh, represent the seven chakras. Okay, so some of you may be needing to, right, clear uh, your chakras, do some healing, right, for whatever this uh, negative energy that we're picking up here with the devil card. But I'm going to say here, I feel once you do something different, and you get rid of this devil energy. And I'm going to say this could be old patterns. This could be old beliefs. Things that aren't working. It could be addictions, like I said. Uh, so I feel like once this is gone, whatever it is for you, right? I feel you're going to be able to attract, you know, what you're hoping for, what you're wishing for, right? Happiness, stability, and security. So let's see uh, what other details we have. We're going to pull some cards here from the Kipper deck here. Okay, we got thoughts. How interesting. So right there with the devil. Some of you, this could be, right, your thoughts here of obsessively thinking about a situation, okay? So some of you could be overthinking a situation. Some of you may be uh, holding on to, not wanting to let go. Maybe you're obsessively. Some of you, this can be also around love and relationships. All right. This could be somebody who is obsessive about you. It's interesting because it's number 16, which is seven. You have seven here. So seven may be an important number for you. Bottom of the deck here, we have the courthouse energy, which is also the justice energy. So it may be a situation where um, there could have been someone who did you wrong or you're not feeling like uh, this person was fair to you. It could be anybody in your life, okay? I'm also going to say with the court, uh, the uh, courthouse energy here, this could also be an energy where you're having to make some sort of decision or find a new strategy, but you got to find that balance between your heart and your head. And if you're in fearful energy or you're overthinking it, right, it's going to be really hard for you to get there. This is number 23, which is five. So I feel like there's some sort of transition here going through uh, Scorpio or some sort of conflict that you may be dealing with. I'm also going to say the letter M may be important to you, um, a particular person, uh, around you, uh, something with letter M as well. Okay, so you have toil, toil and labor. This is number 38, which is 11. Okay, so this is your focus, right? This is your focus. Um, it also can be work-related. This could be around your career, uh, I'm getting. But I also want to say with the Ten of Cups, uh, the Toil and Labor, and the Thoughts card, the energy I'm picking up there is that your thoughts really, um, you know, affect the results you're trying to get. So if you have positive thinking, right, it's going to lead you to positive results. If there's negative thinking, right, or maybe overanalyzing a situation uh, or having fears, that also can, um, right, that can lead you in the wrong direction. So I feel like a new way of thinking too here with that seven of Michael. You also have number three, which is the marriage card. So some of you could be in a commitment or a marriage with somebody, some of you here, maybe you're wanting to get married, you're wanting to be in a relationship, you're wanting that that security there, okay? So uh, I feel here, like they're saying here, if you want to manifest a relationship, a marriage, 
right? You need to know where to focus your thoughts. If they're focused here on negative, fearful thinking, or even someone who's not healthy for you, it's going to be harder for you to get to where you want to go. All right, so let's see what else we have here. Oh, look at that. Courtship. So a lot of you, this is going to be around a relationship. Some of you, this is around consistency, right? You want that consistency here. Now, you have the child card, number 18, which is 9. Some of you, there may be some healing, right? Some inner child healing. So this could be things going back to your childhood that happened that could be affecting your relationships. Remember, I talked about the star card. I talked about healing here, okay? So probably the heart chakra, uh, you know, some type of heart chakra clearing, cleansing, meditation would help with this. Some of you, this could be a situation where there is a child involved uh, for you, okay? So take it how it resonates. Now, let's see what your... Um, Oracle, the unicorn says, it says action. Now is the perfect time to act, act, take inspired action towards your dreams, move forward with confidence. All right. So beautiful, beautiful energy. I feel like what they're saying here, you can see, you know, that beautiful uh, light shining through here. I feel like they're saying once you you make the decision to take some sort of action or move forward towards whatever goal it is that you have, I feel like they're saying here, you're going to see the success. You're going to see movement here in your life, okay? I feel like you just need to change your way of thinking, right? Maybe you need to collaborate with someone depending what your situation is because you have um, you have the confidence you have the energy to attract what you need in your life and people. And I also feel a very creative energy uh, with you, Scorpio. So I feel like, you know, yeah, and look at this. You have Archangel Camiel, which is Embrace Healthy Relationships. So you may be... Um, there may be people around you, right, that are unhealthy for you, and they're telling you, I feel too, with this action card, you need to move forward from an unhealthy situation, okay? And that's what's going to get you to, right, this Ten of Pentacles and this Ten of Cups here, okay? So changing your focus, right? And I'm going to say here, I'm hearing like, what does happiness look like for you, right? You have to have the intention of what you want, for you to manifest it okay so I feel like it's a mindset here I feel and it's interesting I say mindset and here's an M as I was saying something important with M I feel like it's changing your mindset here in the situation so let's see what the guidance is here for you Scorpio uh, some of you it may be an answer to your question okay look at that success yeah, success ahead there. Look at that. Success. Love it. Don't stop. All right. I feel like that this is um, an energy of, right, move forward with your dreams. Don't give up. You know, believe, right, that anything is possible or a specific action that you're wanting to take. And forgiveness. So some of you may be needing to forgive someone. This can be forgiveness uh, for yourself. Sometimes, uh, you know, we blame ourselves for certain things here. And then you have here within the next few weeks. Okay, so I feel like you're going to see some sort of movement, some sort of change. Um, I feel like, too, you could change your mindset uh, about your situation within the next few weeks and start manifesting here, right? Uh, really, and focusing your energy really here on... What's bringing you happiness, fulfillment, right? And your Ten of Pentacles there, okay? So Scorpio, I hope this reading helped you. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.